And any time you get that week off, it's about fundamentals and technique. Now it's game preparation, getting ready for the uh, Cincinnati. You know, saw the game last week up against Central Florida where they didn't play very well. But we know this, we're always going to get their best because of who we are, and we are going to come in here with their best. So it's, important, it's so important for our team to continue to get better. And, they, and it's all about work at practice. And I told them, you make a choice on how hard you want to go. You make a choice on what, whether you want to learn what we're trying to teach you or not. But it's, it's, uh, it's all about when you come out to practice, you have to have the right mindset. You have to be focused, and you have to be ready to go. Looking like y'all were running around pretty good today. Are y'all about as healthy as you can be at this point in the season? Yeah, we are, Joey. I, um, you know, just looking at us, I don't think that, you know, knock on wood, we don't have, um, we, we had everybody there today and we, we practice well. And it's good that, you know, you're, you're in a stretch now where you, you're hitting that stretch where you kind of get a lot of bumps and bruises. But just last week, it helped us having that week off where we got guys back. Uh, D'Angelo will be able to play on Saturday. <clears throat> you said you focus on fundamental and technique. Is that just refresher, or did you notice it was some of that was starting to slip a little? No, it's always a refresher because you, you know in this, it's it's still about blocking and tackling and putting a hat placement and learning how to put your head on proper way to to a. Knock a guy back, but it's, it's still those things that you have to work on, and, and you just can never, you never can get to a point where you just, hey, we're gonna overlook this, or you feel comfortable with it, because the moment you slip, and then you get into a game, and you end up getting beat because you didn't keep your outside leg clean, or just a fundamental breakdown. The program has won ten games in a row. <clears throat> At some point, you, you start playing with confidence. Obviously, how big and intangible is that when kids start playing with confidence? Well, I, I think that if you look at it, we have been playing with it the whole season. And because you look at the first two games, we get down and we, we had to play from behind. But it's, it's they, uh, they're getting to a point where, you know, a team that can't be beat won't be beat. And, it's, and that's the mindset that we're trying to, you know, continue to build in them. And you're right, we don't talk about how many games that we've won, won in a row. Or, and we don't even mention that. I, I mean, not even said anything about our record. It's just, you know, getting ready for the next game. Well, I, I think that now that we played five, they can they can feel it and they can see it. And because uh, you know when we go out there, it's you gonna like you look at the East Carolina game where they came out and they, you know they played very well there for a half, and then you know we had to get our game going. But uh, you, you're gonna get their best because we're we're a ranked opponent. So when any time you're ranked and they have, they have a chance to really knock you off, you're gonna you're gonna get it. You know, what we try to do is just be a balanced team. And, and I always tell our, our, our offensive line, our defensive line, we're going to win football games because of how, how hard you play. Because if you can't win up front, you have no chance. And offensive line just knocking guys back. You look at it, I just, uh, me and Ernest was talking yesterday. He's, what, three straight games, he's rushed for over 100 yards. And then, you know, three straight games, we rushed for 300 yards as a, an offensive team. And then on defense, it's, you have to be able to stop the run. And if you're going to stop the run, you know, you need those guys with Hector and, and, and Senate and, uh, and Love and Reeves. Those guys got to play well up front. You know, our offensive line, you know, because you, you have rough and then your, your two tackles, you know, as, as big as they are, they, Norman and Mays, they can knock guys back. And, and that's where and then Atterbury has kind of settled in there at guard for us and Jay Hall's at the other guard. So we're able to get those five. But then we have, you know, you only need about seven or eight linemen where you can alternate guys in in case something does happen where you can move guys around and put the pieces together. But it's, it is, and that, but that's how we practice. 
you know, I was laughing at them because I said, you guys came out of camp talking about coaches. It was physical. We had never hit this much. But now you, I said, but you look at it right now. Why are we running the football? And I said, it's, it's, it's I said, guys, what happens in practice is going to happen in a game. Yeah, we're, gonna be, we're a physical football team, and you have to be physical because if, if you're physical on offense, you're going to be physical on defense because offense, that's the way you practice. <clears throat> You know, it was hard on him in the beginning because he came to him and said, Coach, you got to teach me some tackling drills. I got to learn that. And I, I said, well, you got to look at it like this tonight. I said, the second one, I said, the quarterback is 6'2". And then, I mean, it's like he just – you hit him in the chest and he just, his head just – you know, when you hit him, his head looked like it just came down on top of him. But uh, but he – he, he didn't let it bother him, and that's what I told him. Just play your game. Don't, don't worry about that. You, you just got to go play it, and, and uh, we'll just see where it ends up at. But don't, don't be concerned about that. You're a good football player. Just, they've got a pretty veteran quarterback. Just mm -hmm. watching on tape, what do you like about it? Well, the thing he does is he gets the ball out of his hands. And, uh, you know, you look at their running backs, they, they run hard. Their offensive line is solid. You know, uh, I really love their left tackle who, who does a good job where he can, uh, you know, he does a good job out on the perimeter. But uh, they, they, they are a really good team. They just haven't played well because you look at it and they have some, you know, they have some really good skill. They have some really good linemen, but they just haven't been able to put it together. All right, we good?